love in a me heart you feel receive Kiwi will be able to cute like a mixed bird Girl you act like put more away Smith mm. Me want you for the rest of my life One way to go turn you into my world Hi guys, welcome back to my channel And today's video As you can see here The only reason he's here Is so that we can have Talks about young marriage so, I did a poll on Instagram and I asked y'all, I asked y'all which video y'all want to see next and y'all voted for this one. So just excuse our condition, I'm in his jersey with a head wrap because my hair is combed and like no makeup on and stuff with these baggy eyes because I've been working all the time. We basically ready to sleep. I just got home from work, had a bath, and we decided that this is going to be the only time we're going to get to film the video. So we decided to do it now. So, excuse our tiredness. But yeah, we're bringing the content. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into the video. So, I also asked for questions that you want us to answer or things that you want us to talk about in the video and y'all send so I have quite a few here because it was a lot of participation so without further ado let's get right into it can I get a drum roll please <laughs> okay this is the first I can't remember which one is the first one let's pick one we start from the first page and go down. How do you know that y'all were ready to take the leap of faith? I hand this one over to the speaker here. Oh, how did I know? When I met her, she just had a lot of qualities that I didn't have. And for me, that completed me in a type of way. So I just knew that she would fill the voice that I had, so that's how I knew. I didn't know that I was ready, to be honest. I just knew that, you know, when you meet somebody you love and you take that second step and you realize you want to build a future and you're at that point in your life where, you know, you're ready for that. Like you're ready to build a future with someone. I don't see the difference between living home or spending like a whole lot of years with somebody unmarried, you know? Like mm -hmm. it's the same thing. If you really do share that love, then marrying that person wouldn't make a difference. So that's just my opinion. No offense to anybody. But that was just, you know, I think our point of view on it. Hmm, what is this password? How's the experience been thus far? Hmm, it's been a roller coaster, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a roller coaster of emotions, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, one time it's really really good and then one time I just need my space like I guys don't want anybody I'm very moody so you know but he kind of get accustomed to it so he's kind of know when to like so soon as I see certain things happening I just know like it's time for roll and don't be seen don't be heard <laughs> No, he's just like, we just know to exist with each other. Like, we just don't bother each other. He would be outside watching TV and I can just be like, you know, when we get like that. But then we have times where we just want to be all up in each other's space and stuff. Um, the challenges you face in your marriage and how do y'all overcome them as a couple? Mostly by just talking, which she just do a lot, so. <laughs> what is the challenges? You are already answering how you overcome them. By talking about the challenges. 
He, you dumb? No, but this would ask him. What are the challenges you face in your marriage? These are the challenges you face in your marriages. Good, so what are they? Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> um. First off, I don't watch NBA. I just want to watch Net, um, Netflix and YouTube. So that's like a really big challenge right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big issue because I need to be watching, checking up on my YouTube sisters. Like, you know, my she friends. She watch YouTube like whole day, bro. Oh, gosh. My friends are from YouTube. But you ain't know them. I have to keep up with them. <laughs> he acted like he could play basketball. No, but you can You won't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. No, but uh, like on a serious note, challenges we face that like, we're different in a lot of ways. So I'm my character is more dominant, and his is more subtle. So like. The way I would handle situations as compared to the way he would handle them is different. So we got to kind of find some kind of breaking ground there. Not only handling situations with like the two of us or like issues with the two of us, but like dealing with things in the whole, like how I would deal with someone like the other day when we went to the bank. Like mm -hmm. he just would listen to people and talk easy and you know even though it's a situation that would make you angry but i would like lose it go crazy yeah so we just gotta find some kind of common ground there and you know try to not burn the building down and stuff there's just one there's just a few we have a lot of challenges, but as expected. Yeah, that's how it goes. What was the hardest adjustment each of you had to make when you started living together? Um, well, for me, it's just knowing that you're living with somebody else, and is certain things you'd be doing, you gotta keep it on a down low. Like you can't do is like opposite. <laughs> <Being understand. laughs> no, I mean is that by growing up like you, you grow up by yourself and for me and you're accustomed to being alone and with nobody around most of the time and then I just got adjust to having somebody always around and it's basically just adjusting for me. For me the hardest thing was like having to share every part of his face with somebody like he would be brushing his teeth and i would be in the toilet like right there <laughs> <laughs> i like vice versa like he accustomed to use it. <laughs> use use <laughs> okay that's a good oh, example yeah. though like he can't use <laughs> he's got lock the door right when, privacy, boy, privacy when he was in the toilet like or like if i walk in and he trying to like pee or something i can say the word anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but when he trying to like pee and i walk in i go and brush me teeth or something he's look at me and be like bro you cut my pee <laughs> 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 yeah so that's like sharing all your space with somebody that was hard to adjust and two like the way I would do things as compared to the way he would do things. Like how my parents teach me to do it. And how his parents teach him to do it. <coughs> that's also a challenge. Because I read that's really annoying. And he's left tissue in his pocket. I just can't deal with it. Like this, this tripped me out. And I talk about it like 50 million times and he just don't get it. Because he get his big, he get his sinus problem or whatever he's called. Like he's always doing that. And he always taking my bounty and have it in his pocket to blow his nose. Like, 
Growing up in Ghana, y'all gonna know bone tea and cheap. So don't take my bone tea and blow your nose. What's, what's wrong with you? Anyways, next question, cause that is getting me emotional. Did the relationship change? Will <laughs> did the relationship change in any way for when y'all were dating? Like behavior? No. Yes. Yes. Don't change. I am way more understanding of certain things than I was before we got married. Oh, true, true, true. What made you choose him? What felt so right? Um. <laughs> I felt like for some reason he was like my salvage in a way like I was a hot spicy pepper like a wee wee pepper and I needed some sugar water like it's, it's sugar water is bad drink when when pepper is bunny milk milk yeah. <laughs> he was my milk <laughs> yeah he was my milk literally milk <laughs> I felt like I needed uh, somebody that could be able to make me a little more calm because honestly that's what i wanted to be i wanted to be calm and like you know it didn't work but it helps in a way yeah he's like my little salvage like my peace he's peaceful i don't get certain issues that i used to get or certain things that i used to deal with or i felt like i had to deal with I don't have that in my life, like unrelatable at this point. So yeah, he's he's loving. He takes care of me. He's like you know gonna be a good dad, family man, whatever, whatever. He got the bad ways. Don't let this flood him because I'm a talk nice for now. So yeah. <laughs> okay next question were y'all living together before marriage or only after we were living together before marriage <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were living together we moved in together in january last year mm -hmm. and we got married in august so that was January, February, March. Eight months. Eight months. August is my birthday and it's the eight months. <laughs> <laughs> so we lived together for eight months. That was eight before. months? Yeah. Did I feel like eight months? How long have y'all been together before marriage? A year and something. Exactly a year. It was exactly a year. It wasn't exactly a year. We get together one more date. We got together on July the second. Yes. <laughs> yes, we got together on July second, and we got married on August seventeenth. So that was like a year and a couple of days. And a lot of people is like, uh, there's a big question. I know a lot of people wanted to find out because people asked me that before and I didn't answer. Because I used to feel like, oh gosh, a year is so soon to get married. Mm -hmm. I know people might think whatever, but I don't feel like it's, it was too soon anymore. There's not, there's no such thing as too soon. Like, you know when you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody. You just have to make it work. Period. Love languages. Did you find it hard to figure out your partner's love language? And did he? Yeah, that's fine. Of course not. But if I'm if I'm perceiving what the person is trying to ask correctly, I think they try to ask like my love language, like how I love a person, stuff like that. 
Yes, it was hard to figure out each other's love language because we come from different backgrounds. I'm like more of one of those people who grew up like knowing, <clears throat> all right, survive and conquer. This is like basically what I grew up knowing. And he grew up more in this loving home, like this perfect little family thing. It was so perfect, but it was all right. But yeah, it was like mom, dad, you know mm. that when you grow up, this is where you do get married. You marry the girl that you love when you meet somebody you love, you marry them. And like, you know, that was what was expected of him. I was never that kind of person. It's still hard like in marriage to relate on that level sometimes because it's like, I was like this hard rock person that is like, see life as a as a challenge i guess i don't know how to explain it but yeah we we had two completely different we still have two completely mm -hmm. different ways of communicating or showing our love for each other communicating to each other how we feel about each other anyways next question what were your thoughts about being married at a young age prior to getting married yeah, like before you get married, before you meet me or whatever, mm -hmm. were you be thinking about marriage and getting married? Like, you be think that you would be married at 21? No, I don't. No, I didn't think I would be married at 21, but I always. Yeah. <laughs> I always had this, like, way of thinking that you can get married and try to settle down early and start a family. So I always had the thought of marriage. So it wasn't like a new thing, like, a big surprise that. I get married at this age, but, you know, I know it was for you. I didn't think I was going to get married at all. Like, I, was, <laughs> I used to say, who will marry me? <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to get that trap. But, I guess. How do you feel about people pressuring you or questioning you about your timeline to have kids? <laughs> about people asking us? It influences us. It doesn't, it to me, it don't pressure us. But it makes us feel like it's bring out a different type of emotion when people ask you like, oh, I can't wait to see these double kids. Or, you know, mm -hmm. how are you being these babies? And, you know, this make you feel, it don't make you feel pressured. It's just raised like that curiosity too. Like when people say, I can't wait to see what your kids look like. We can't wait either. So, the fact that we actually want to wait is be a little bit hard when, you know, every time you get a reminder of it. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the questions here is when y'all plan to procreate. And honestly, we don't know. We just decided that we're not going to plan it. It's just going to be Allah's wish. Inshallah, if we're supposed to have, we're going to have whenever he wishes so so wherever it comes it comes we don't do anything to prevent it we don't do anything to <laughs> yeah i know yeah we gotta spell it out <laughs> is it difficult being in an interview <laughs> i meant to say is it difficult is it difficult being in an interracial marriage no mm -hmm. it's not difficult it's sometimes it's it's a little bit challenging considering like background differences what's the most challenging thing as a young married couple the pressure from people saying that oh you shouldn't get married at such a young age yeah it's yeah. not gonna last it's not gonna last like the outside pressure man no, that's the biggest challenge your in-laws how do they see you are they are there any racial discrimination and how does that affect your marriage i think the answer already no they ask how they reacted i have never experienced any any sort of racial discrimination i've met like more of his extended family recently and like still i don't feel that way i know some people hide it but like i don't know if 
I don't think they're hiding it. I think they're just genuine. And like my in-laws love me. Yeah. They love me more than they love him. Period. <laughs> and vice versa. Mommy them love you. Everybody love you. My big sister. <laughs> my big sister never liked any of my exes. Never. She always had a problem with somebody and she loved Johnny. Like she's a she's always the ten Johnny Johnny. Do you know what you're doing to yourself? Like, like to, uh, up to now she was like <laughs> still get out. You could the, still get out, you know. The day before the marriage she was like, Johnny, it's not too late. <laughs> get away from her. <laughs> Are you planning on having a child anytime soon? We've answered that. Whenever it comes, it comes. I always think I'm pregnant. <laughs> if if I eat a whole set of pepper in the plate, he's be like, girl, yeah, you're not yeah. eating all the all the pepper with me, baby, you belly. <laughs> and he's be like, what baby? Are you delusional? How do you deal with now sharing your space with a partner and no longer having any personal space? We talk about it earlier, like it's hard to have no personal space. But sometimes, because of the fact that he's work shifts and I's work shifts, sometimes you just get a little time by yourself and stuff. But sometimes, yeah. yeah. But we like, I'm sure I forget some time like in the washroom. Yeah. But I don't know why. I know you used to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> like I would go in the washroom and lock this door. And I know she can just come and twist in the knob, like open up. Why? I cause you don't need to be locking the door. No, but I want a quiet little piece and you know for concentrate. He's going to lock up in the fall. <laughs> like, he was going in there for like no. two hours. <laughs> Ariana asks, what motivates y'all as a married couple? Um, One big motivation that we did have when we took this step, like, through all the trials and tribulations, right? One of our biggest motivation was how much we accomplished in one year. Mm -hmm. Like, and still accomplishing yeah like, like seeing like what we could do together yeah how much we could do how much we could accomplish together you know like, like the possibilities what could happen yeah does keep you motivated because you know like all both of us have the same aim and like we just live for our children we just want our children we want to create that generational wealth for our family and like we live it for our future. So we think about the things that, you know, if we do this in a year mm -hmm. and we spend and we plan on spending the rest of our lives together, like think about how much we could accomplish, you know? So this keep us going. And like this is what I was saying earlier, there's a benefit of getting married early. Is yeah. that you could start settling down and mm -hmm. putting things in place. So anything you want to say? Because we want to sleep. Mm -hmm. I see people doing things. Do it. Oh, they are, they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. It's not Never see. No. Let me do it again. Here we go. One, two, two three. us to the end of the video we are going to sleep he has to work in the morning and i have to work in the afternoon i have to deliver to do it in the morning so we're gone bye thank you for watching should we get on a kiss mm -hmm. why yeah,